Good morning, mates, and happy Friday. E here with E's Deals and Steals. Wanting to talk to you today about some penny shopping. Um, I really didn't plan on getting into it this quickly. It can be confusing, but uh, we have a big clearance event coming up this weekend at Dollar General. And during those clearance events, there's a pretty good chance that you could find some pennies. So I wanted to kind of give you the basics, um, what you're looking at. I paid six cents for. Yes, I'm not kidding. One penny each. Okay, so I want to tell you guys basically how this kind of works. So we're going to flip this baby around. Okay, it's very early, um, by the way. So, here's the deal. Um, first and most important, you need to download the Dollar General app because it has a scanner on it, and that way you can scan in store. Um, the employees do not like to be bothered to scan. Uh, and it's just it's they're busy enough so please download the dollar general app and up in the right corner um, after you go into the list you will be able to see the scanner if you need help with this please just message me and let me know so when it comes to penny shopping i think of it in three groups there's the seasonal pennies there's the surprise pennies, and then there's the remodel pennies. I'm not going to get into the last two today because they don't necessarily matter too much. Um, I want to I want to talk about the seasonal pennies because they're the ones that make the most sense, I think, and. Um, probably the ones you'll grasp first. Now, I'm not trying to talk to anybody like they're stupid. Um, some people catch this very quickly. Um, some people it can be kind of confusing. So that's why um, I'm just going to lay it out for you. All right. So you have a Dollar General store. And you guys know that there's usually two to three aisles that are constantly changing. Um, they change with the season, the holiday, um, times of the year. Now, you know the rest of the store, they have what we refer to as their core products. So their core products are the products they keep in stock all the time. And they are being replenished all the time. You'll notice um, in Dollar General, like a lot of stores, their core products do not have prices on them. They have tags, but they don't actually have prices. The prices are on the shelves. That's kind of a way to tell the difference between a core product and a seasonal product. The seasonal products typically will have a price tag on them, and they will have some type of symbol underneath that price tag. It may be a star, a circle, a square, different colors, um, but basically core products are the ones that mainly stay in the store. They don't penny that often. Those come into play with surprise pennies. Seasonal items are the ones that come in or come out for each season or holiday. And they're the ones that after the holiday is over, you start to see discount signs. First, you'll see a 25% off. Then you might see a 50. Then you'll see a 75. Then you might see a 90% off. But then you don't really see anything. After items hit 90% off, seasonal items, then they will kick to a single penny. Yes. Now, this doesn't mean everything. There are 
always exceptions, like with Christmas. Christmas trees, no. They don't penny after Christmas. Um, lights and decor, it's just, it depends. Um, but right now, obviously, you would be looking for anything Christmas or anything Thanksgiving because Christmas right now is 10 cents. Anything Christmas, 10 cents, with the exception of some things like Christmas trees. And this weekend, the big clearance event, it's an additional 50% off. So anything Christmas is going to only be 5 cents. Okay. Now, if this follows the typical cycle, then they go to a penny. So say two weeks from now, Christmas hits a penny. You're going into stores. You happen to notice gift bags or gift boxes or some Christmas tree ornaments. You definitely want to pick them up and scan them because they should be a penny. Every seasonal item, not every, 90% of seasonal items go through the clearance cycle of 25, 50, 75, 90, and then they hit a penny. Okay? So, just last night, I actually, I was out looking for surprise pennies that we talked about, um, my rugs that I got, but unfortunately, I didn't find any surprise pennies. But when I was in store, I did find some seasonal old pennies. Because here's the deal. If these items don't get purchased or don't get pulled from the floor like they're supposed to before they hit a penny, then they're always there. You can penny shop any day of the week. Um, the messier the store, the better, typically. Um, my local store, they are very good about getting pennies off the floor because that's actually the rule. See, we're not supposed to have access to these. Um, the, man the managers will get a list that will give them the items that are getting ready to penny. And they are supposed to pull those items before the next week. Well, you know, sometimes it doesn't happen. A lot of times it doesn't happen. You all know what Dollar General is like. They're busy. <laughs> And maybe they don't have time to do it. So that's where we come into play. If they do pull the items, here's where, I don't know, I guess morals come into play. So some Dollar Generals just throw their stuff away. I know this for a fact. One, because there are people that dumpster dive. I'm not that brave. But two, I've worked at a Dollar General. And yes, um, it says plain as day on the papers that we get. We were supposed to pull these items, put them in trash bags, and put them in the dumpster. I'm not okay with that. I don't think anything should be thrown away at this time. Um, it could be donated very easily. So, we should get these items when they're 90% off or a penny so that they don't go to the trash. I mean, take them to your local, you know, um, child center, women's center, senior center, Head Start, you name it, schools. I don't care. But donate it. Do something with it. Let's not let it just go to a landfill. Um, before I show you um, the last thing, and it is very, very important, is you do not ever talk to the employees about penny items, okay? Because it is their job to remove the penny items. And so if you would walk up to them and ask, hey, do you have any penny items? One, that's a big no-no. Two, that reminds them, oh, wait, maybe they didn't remove from the last, you know, email they got last week. If you ask them to scan and it's a penny, they do not have to sell it to you at that point because it's in their possession. So you can purchase pennies. You can scan pennies on your app. 
And as long as you have them in your cart and you are checking out, then they have to sell them to you. And there is a penny policy. You can find it online. And those are the rules. If you talk to them about it, if you get them to scan something, then all of that goes out the window and you won't get your penny items. All right. So I want to tell you just some a uh, couple of the penny items I found. Um, these are actually some of my favorites, I'll be honest. Uh, I only found two last night, and it's this wooden bucket thing. And then, oh, I love these paintings. Uh, this is the fourth one I've found, I believe, um, between the two. But this one's obviously my favorite. Uh, okay, so last night I go in this store, and I'm looking for these rugs and different things that are supposed to be surprise pennies, and I don't find anything. But as I'm strolling around, um, one thing I've noticed is if you guys have been in any of the new NCI stores, you'll notice the middle section um, usually has a big sign up above that says home, and the middle aisles are shorter, and there's basically the first sections all seasonal items and then the back section is full of blankets and home goods picture frames you name it those are the new nci stores well i've noticed back there where they display you know a number of the new items on tables they have right there they like to use these buckets to put different flowers in or this one i found with rugs in it and this is probably the fifth one I've found that they're using it to display something. And I just know when I walk by, oh my gosh, that's from Thanksgiving. The reason I know, if you take a look at the tag, you can tell it looks fall-like, right? Okay. And then also, when you look at any of the seasonal Dollar General items, and you look at the barcode, you're also going to see something that tells you about the year. So this one, so this one stands for Fall 2020. So these pennied with Thanksgiving. So. I took the three rugs out of my basket, and I got my penny basket. All right. Next, uh, vases, because I love them. And I just want to show you another tag. Um, I forgot I have stuff in this space. Okay. So if you look at this one, you can get up, up, you can get up real close. You can see that F20 again. Okay, and then on these um, pottery vases, to give you another example of a different season, you'll see that one says S20, and that is for summer 2020. All right, um, these paintings. These paintings I actually found on my own. I didn't get a tip from anybody on them. I had actually been looking at this one at a store, and I just thought that they were so pretty. Well, uh, when I went back to that store and I was looking for Thanksgiving items that were going down in price or leftover summer items that were pennies, um, I noticed the picture had pumpkins on it. And I thought, hmm, maybe, just maybe, this is going along with fall or Thanksgiving. So I turned my picture around, and sure enough, there is an F20 on it. Now, at the time 
Um, it was $10 and things were 90% off. So I paid $1 for this painting. But last night when I found it, obviously we are way past Thanksgiving and I only paid a penny. So same with this one. I noticed pumpkins. I mean, it's a beautiful canvas, but it's obviously got pumpkins on it. So same thing. I turn it around to scan it. I look for a year and sure enough, sure enough, I'm in the shadow, but you can see F20. Okay, so just to go back over. All right, you can purchase items at Dollar for one single cent. You can purchase them any day of the week. Whoops. It just depends on the store. Um, usually it's going to be easier to find seasonal penny items. If you see something that's out of season, you want to scan it. Okay. Um, basically, this weekend's clearance event why I'm telling you about penny shopping now. A lot of times for the clearance event, the managers will pull out bins from the back. Getting ready to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. They will bring out bins from the back because the clearance events are a way to get discontinued items, old stuff, stuff they're getting new, get it out the door. Well, a lot of times these bins, they also have thrown penny items in and just never done anything with. So they get mixed in with all the clearance stuff. So here's what I want you to do this weekend. If you are feeling lucky, even if you're not feeling lucky, feel like going shopping, you need to go to Dollar General's, the clearance event, you save good money on normal house anyways because they are marking everyday stuff down say 10 percent or 25 percent and then you get an additional 50 percent off of that plus if you see any of the gray totes full of treasures please start scanning because you could easily start finding some pennies so i wish everybody luck if you have any questions, feel free to message me, and of course, I'll get back with you with my hauls. Thanks, guys. Have a good Friday.